Hey everyone, so in today's video, I will be showing you how you can create this beautiful soft glam look that's a little bit foxy. And I know that look is like really trending these days and I decided to do this using all affordable products and just one brand. And I am gonna use Maybelline. It's one of my favorite drugstore brands and I really hope this helps you out. This is no way sponsored. I am actually gonna make this a series. I'll be making a lot of different videos where I'll just be using one brand so that it's easier for you guys to kind of see all of the products that a brand has and what are the good ones and what are not the really good ones so I thought this series would be really helpful for you guys before we begin though don't forget to subscribe and also hit on that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video and without any further ado let's get started so you can start with any primer that you like I have this one from the Gigi Hadid collection this is their tinted primer, but I don't really like this. But if you already have the other Maybelline primers, then you can go ahead and use that. I'm going to skip this. Next, I'm going to use foundation. And today I'll be using the Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless foundation in the shade 310 Sun Beige. This is the color that matches my skin perfectly and I've always been a big fan of the Fit Me range of products that Maybelline do. Um, I think the foundation is great. It has a great medium coverage. I love how easily it blends. It also sits on my skin really well. I love the matte finish and I love how lightweight it is as well and I also love that you can find your shade that would fit your skin tone perfectly. Next, we're going to use concealer. So I am going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Honey first. And this is very close to my skin tone. So I'm going to use that underneath my eyes and wherever else I think I need extra coverage. Next, I'm going to use the Instant Age Rewind in the shade Medium. This is slightly light for me. So I'm going to use this to highlight. And I'm taking all of the concealer upwards. I am applying it underneath my eyes. I am also taking it uh, upwards from my lips and also on my jawline and a little bit on my forehead as well and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it using this angled brush this is the pack 272 brush then I'm going to take the Fit Me Concealer in the shade Cafe, which is two shades darker than my skin tone, and use that to contour. So I'm going to apply it on the hollows of my cheekbones. I'm going to apply it on the hollows of my cheekbones, on my jawline, and also angled upwards from the lower lash line. And I'm also taking a little bit to contour my nose. I don't usually do that, but I really wanted this look to be snatched. Next, I'm going to take one of my favorite loose powders. This is the Master Fix by Face Studio Setting Plus Perfecting Loose Powder. Uh, I'm going to take that underneath my eyes and also to clean up all of the contouring and basically to set everywhere that we've applied the highlighter. Okay, next we are going to intensify the contour because um, this lifted look is all about the illusion we create by contouring our face. So I'm going to use the master contour and take the darkest shade onto a very small brush and apply it on an upwards direction wherever we have applied the liquid contour and then keep blending it on the edges so that you know we don't get to see any seams and if you want to clean it then you can go ahead and take the same brush that you have applied uh, the concealer and the powder with and just buff out the edges so that it looks seamless next we're adding back a little bit of color into the skin and i'm going to use the master blush i like to mix all the three colors and then again you're going to use upward strokes to apply Apply it so you're gonna smile and find the apple of your cheek and then concentrate the blush over there and then pull it upwards like so next I'm going to use one of my favorite highlighters of all time this is master chrome in the shade molten gold this is such a popular product from Maybelline and rightfully so because this is just great especially for the price point the pigmentation everything this is just amazing and I'm going to take this highlighter and apply it again on an upwards direction next we're going to apply eyeshadow and this totally changes the game so I'm going to take this lemonade craze palette and take the shade sweet tea first and apply it all over my eyes and on the outside I am pulling it outwards just like we applied the contour 
Next, we're going to take a slightly darker brown. This is called Old Fashioned and I'm taking it on a smaller angular brush and I'm applying it like a winged eyeliner and pulling it outwards starting from my lower lash line and then I'm just using the same brush to kind of feather it out so that it's blended on the inside and this way you're creating like a winged eyeliner shape but using a matte brown eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to take the line tattoo eye pencil from Maybelline and use that to make a very soft eye. Um, winged eyeliner so I'm going to just scribble the eyeliner onto the edge and draw a winged eyeliner shape and then take the same brush and smudge it all out I'm also going to use this to tight line my eyes which is applying the eyeliner on my upper uh, lash line and I'm also going to take it all the way into the inner corner and once you've blended and smudged the eyeliner, you can go ahead and dip a small brush into um, your loose powder again and then apply it underneath uh, the eyeliner just to crisp out the line. Next, I'm going to take one of my holy grail mascaras. You guys have seen me use this in almost every single video. This is the Falsies Push-Up Drama and I think Maybelline makes some of the best mascaras ever and they're so affordable. To finish up the look, I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay Ink Cream on in the shade number 20 it's this beautiful nude and I love how sharp and skinny these lip pencils are um, so you can use that to not only fill up your lips but also use this as a lip liner before you apply the color and these are extremely long-lasting so that's it that is the finished look I really hope this was helpful and I really hope you recreate it don't forget to tag me if you do because I will be sharing some of my favorites on Instagram and yeah that's it thank you so much please make sure you're subscribed it would mean the most to me and I will see you in my next video bye